Hey guys, what's going on? It's Lefty from 643 Productions coming at you here with a Modern Warfare 3 live free-for-all gameplay commentary. Here I am in the map underground using the M4A1, <coughs> excuse me, two attachments, silencer, and red dot. Uh, as you can see or hear, I am still a little sick, not feeling very well. Oh man, had a throat lozenge in earlier. That was good. I had some dalcium or dalsum, whatever that's called, a cough suppressant. I think what happened is, is because I, earlier in the week I thought I threw my back out, but I think what happened was, um, my back hurting was a precursor to a cold. Like I caught a cold and it initially initially settled itself in my back. Because that happens from time to time, I guess. I don't know how a cold settles in one's back, but, you know, whatever. I'm not a doctor. I just play one on YouTube. And that was my resultant pain at everything, and, uh, and I didn't feel too good. What the fuck? Um, yeah. And so I think that's what happened, and then eventually I just got sick. There's a guy back here, isn't there? Don't come back, don't come back. Oh my god, oh my god, break the glass. It's like Stone Cold. It's like the Stone Cold intro. Talk about your Psalms, talk about your John 316. Austin 316 says I just whipped your ass. Oh, Type 95, oh my god, Type 95. Oh my god, you're so good, Type 95. Oh, you're so fucked. Yeah, you were gonna try to come kill me. She shot me when you had the chance instead of trying to teabag me for a minute. Force knifing me. Or something like that. <laughs> oh, yeah, but anyway, there was a topic I wanted to talk about. I forgot. Uh, almost completely forgot. Uh, is the is the money whore fad over? Is that fad of going through and, and, you know, pounding one's chest about calling people money whores? Oh my god, seriously, dude. Is that is that fad over? Have those moron kids, or you moron kids, if you're one of those people that did that, have you guys figured out that this is a business? Have you guys wised up or at least seen the futility in trying to go through and call everybody a money whore? And then, you know, pounding one shit say, oh, well, I don't watch this guy's videos anymore because he's a money whore, and then money whore this, money whore that. Because it, it was, it got to the point where pretty much anybody that got a partnership was money was a money whore. You know, and if you did a video and you put ads on it at any one time, you were a money whore. If you uploaded more than one video a day, or more videos in a day than people thought was necessary, you were a money whore. And it was ridiculous. It, it was just, it was flatly ridiculous at that, at that point. If you did anything in this community, you were a money whore. If you did if you did videos on a relevant topic, you were a money whore. Like let's say Modern Warfare 3 was about to come out and or Modern Warfare 3 did come out. If you did a video about Modern Warfare 3 coming out, you were a money whore. Because how dare you do a video about a relevant topic? Oh my god, it was a relevant topic. People want to hear about it and you're capitalizing on that, so you're a money whore. It's like, "No, well, that's how the entertainment industry works." That's how a business works, is you get money by talking or for talking about relevant topics that people want to hear about. I, I just... I mean, it, it almost got to the point, honestly, where I was going to go out and get my ass a real job. Seriously. Because these the, the, idiot, the, the idiocy was taking this community by storm. And it was led by a... By a bunch of effing trolls that nobody cared about nobody seemed to care about that these kid that these people had a history of trolling and just wanting to stir the pot and lead people by the nose nobody cared about that they just cared about oh my god this is the new cool thing to do is hate people that make money oh my god i hate you because you make money it's like really oh and then and then you know a few self-righteous effing youtube personalities jumped on the bandwagon and they would do sarcastic videos about this or that like oh my god a new patch dropped i'm doing a sarcastic video about people that update their viewers on the new patch like really go fuck yourself uh, it's just it, it was so just infuriating and it wasn't infuriating because i'm all butthurt about it it's just infuriating because human beings sentient human beings were being so god-awful fucking stupid 
And what the f- Come on! Final stand. Kiss my fucking black ass. <coughs> and if you're Robert Bowling, seriously, why do you not only put final stand in the game when you said there would be no last stand, you double-talking piece of shit? And also, why would you make it the easiest death streak to get? Why is it the easiest death streak to get in this game? Nobody can answer me that. It's the easiest death streak to get. Oh, and I hate these games on Underground. They go so slow. Especially when you have people like that crouch walking everywhere. It's not real life, dude. Oh my god, you're sitting under the fucking stairs. Go so slow. I am way too impatient to play with some of these kids. Because some people love games like this. I guess. I don't know. Because it's slow paced and not many people are running around. Like, this would be a perfect Moab game for some people. But I can't do it. That's why I'll never be... Well, there's a few reasons why I'll never be... Ser what the fuck, dude? Seriously? This is fucking fun? Ugh. I hate people, man. Seriously, if, it's not, if it wasn't for me, this game would go to time limit. Fuck you, helicopter. Thank you, guy that shot the helicopter down. Alright, where is this bastard asshole? There you go. Suck on that one. No, but seriously, can we all be done with the money horn thing? Hmm? Is this guy, does that guy have, like, continual final stand on? Like, is that the deal? Every time I've killed that dude, he's been in, he's had final stand going. What an unlucky bastard, am I, am I right? But let's let's move away from the money hoard thing. And, I'm, and I haven't seen it in a while, you know, truth be told. And I'm glad. <coughs> Honestly, I'm glad. I, I hope people have moved on. Because, you know, it, it's time for everybody to realize, you know, it's a... As much as we love video games and stuff, we do have to start living in the real world at some point. Oh my god, did I get a collateral? We do have to start living in the real world. You get advertised too, and there's there's really nothing wrong with that. I mean, that's number one, the way the world works, and number two, that's that's business. I mean, and the main thing is too, a lot of the a lot of you would do the exact same thing if given the opportunity. So don't hate on me, don't hate on us because we have an opportunity that you cream yourself about, or you would cream over. Enjoy it. Relish it. Say, you know what? I'm glad for this person that, that has something that I, that I dream about. And be glad that you can talk, that you have a medium with which to communicate with a person that has such a thing. Right? But anyway, guys, that's my time. I gotta get out of here. Thank you for joining. I hope you enjoy. Be sure to drop a like on this video. If you did enjoy, I am out. And I'm drinking water because I'm fucking sick.